Where you live will determine how fast our response time is to your emergency. If you live in the city or the suburban area, it's a lot easier to get equipment to you. You have better roads, you have road signs, and you have fire hydrants. If we can take an engine and hook directly up to a fire hydrant, we don't have to shuttle water back and forth. If you live in the country or the rural area, access can be an issue. A lot of people have very small driveways, our roads are narrow, so our response time is a lot longer. Plus, in the country there's a lot of volunteer firefighting forces. That means there's probably no one at the station, so when the call goes in, people have to respond from home or work to the station, get equipment, and then respond to the fire. And this takes a lot longer. Your driveway, make sure you have a good driveway. Make sure it's at least covered with gravel so we can get very heavy pieces of equipment in. Also, try to clear at least 12 foot and clear any trees or debris up to 15 feet. Fire trucks are very tall and people do not realize this. Also, we don't have hydrants in the country, so we have to run tankers. So if you have a house fire or a structure fire, we're gonna be bringing tanker after tanker in with water to supply that engine to fight that fire. Also, a lot of people have bridges. Some of these bridges they have made. Preppers like to build their retreats far out in the woods, and so sometimes they have to build bridges. A lot of these bridges are not suitable for fire engines. A fire engine can weigh 30,000 to 50,000 pounds. So if your bridge isn't designed properly, we will not be able to cross it to help you fight that fire. Also, if you have an area where we can land a medical chopper, that's very important. Out here, as you can see all these trees, we can't put a helicopter in here. So if you can clear an area, that way if you do have a medical emergency at your location, or maybe your neighbor, we can easily get a helicopter in there and pick up that injured patient. This is very critical when minutes are counting with an injured person. So have a fire plan. You could use it right now. Also in a roller or crisis situation, your fire plan might be your only plan.